Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Donovan and today I want to talk about how you can get your Spotify playlist downloaded onto your brand new Samsung Galaxy Watch. So one thing you'll notice if you've been watching some of my videos on the Galaxy Watch is I did actually switch over to the 42 millimeter version and that's because I just found the 46 millimeter one to be a little bit too large for my wrist when I'm running. Um, so I went ahead and switched over to the 42 millimeter one and I went from having the LTE version to just the Bluetooth only one and we'll talk more about that in just a little bit but this is all about how to get Spotify playlists onto your watch because I did have some issues so I want to share with you the steps I took in order to get them working properly so step one of course is you need Spotify premium if you don't have Spotify premium basically everything I'm about to say is null and void you'll need Spotify premium and then you'll want to download the app so you can do that a couple of different ways you can do it directly on the watch through the Galaxy apps um, app of course you're going to need Wi-Fi turned on so if you want the Wi-Fi turned on you need to go into settings so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on right now um, just so you can see how this is done and uh, in order to download playlists you're going to need it on as well so I have it turned on to always off at the moment so I'll go ahead and click that and turn it to always on okay so yeah it's gonna use a lot of battery all right so we'll go ahead and turn that off um, so right now I'm not actually connected up to my phone so you can see that Right here, notice that um, all of the apps or all of the uh, options are basically not usable. You can see the Bluetooth is turned off on my phone because I wanted to show you some things that you do. Basically, once you get it downloaded, um, once you get the app downloaded, you don't even need the phone for pretty much the rest of everything I'm going to show you. So you want the Wi-Fi on on the watch. You want the app downloaded. Once you have the app downloaded, you can also add the widget so you can see that here. Um, so right now it's going to be playing on Wi-Fi, so I'm going to go ahead and play it. Okay, so that's just to show you that obviously it's going to work on Wi-Fi. That's pretty obvious. Um, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find a playlist that we want. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that I have a few playlists here that are already downloaded. But of course I'm on Wi-Fi, so of course they're going to work. But notice that some of them have that little download symbol over here on the left. Those are the ones I have downloaded right now. So I have Pumped Pop, Worship Now top Christian and then today's top hits. So those are the ones that are currently on the watch, um, but we're gonna go ahead and back out of that and we're gonna go into settings. By the way, before you can do all this, you have to actually log into your account as well. Okay, so on playback, this one's gonna be important. There are two options, actually there's three options if you have the LTE version. So remote is basically just gonna use the watch as a remote for Spotify on your phone. Stream on Wi-Fi is what you want, okay? And, uh, Notice for all of this, basically at this point, again, you don't want your watch connected up to your phone um, because that actually kind of messes it up a little bit. Once you have it connected up to your phone, basically everything that I'm going to do won't work unless you turn it on to remote. Um, so I would always just basically just keep it on stream on Wi-Fi unless you actually want to use the uh, watch as a remote for the phone. All right, so now that I have Wi-Fi, I'm just going to go ahead and pick. We're going to go ahead and browse and find a playlist that we want to download so we'll go into genre and moods and let's go into workout and we're going to download a so I already got beast mode on here we're just going to do yeah rock me up how about that hey the tigers won yahoo all right so then you're going to go ahead and click download so there's shuffle play and then there's download so you're going to want to go ahead and click download Okay, once you've done that, it's going to go pretty quick, honestly. If your Wi-Fi at home is decent, you're going to get the downloads pretty fast. Um, I would say when I did, let's see here, where is it? Beast Mode. When I did the Beast Mode, that was like 50 songs that downloaded them pretty quickly. Um, and so, yeah, so that worked really well. And apparently it really wants to let me know that the Tigers beat uh, the Yankees today. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and back out of all of this. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn Wi-Fi off. So notice that the Bluetooth isn't connected at the moment. Now, Bluetooth is on, and the reason it's on is to play through um, some music, play some headphones, or through some headphones, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi off and just show you that the um, the things are the playlists are working and they're downloaded to the watch because obviously I don't have Wi-Fi on, I don't have Bluetooth on, which is the only two ways for this watch to connect up to um, the music so okay so now that's all done all right so now Bluetooth is not connected up to my phone as I mentioned and the Wi-Fi is turned off and that's the important part again is that it's not connected to your phone once you have it connected up to your phone you're gonna notice that it's gonna kind of, kind of go wonky um, but notice it says standalone down here 
All right, so now we're going to go into one of the playlists I have downloaded. So get out of that, out of Browse, and we'll go up to My Music or Your Music. And you want to go to Playlist, not Collections. And so Beast Mode I don't have downloaded. I actually took that one off because I didn't really like it. Um, but let's go ahead and jump down in here to Today's Top Hits. And notice that it says Downloaded, so that's checked. And we'll go here to East Side and kind of turned down a little bit right now so there we go all right that's it so that's pretty much it the key here being and this is the thing this is the part i was getting frustrated with is when you're downloading it and when you're playing the music you do not want it connected up to your phone so the phone really kind of throws things off unless you want to use it as a remote so again you can go into the settings and change it to a remote if you want it connected up to your phone if you don't want it connected up to your phone um, when you're playing music definitely just keep it on stream on wi-fi that's pretty much my recommendation and then whenever you're listening to music you want it disconnected from your phone you do not want your phone connected up to it um, because for some reason or another it will not play them so watch let me let's just try it for fun i'm going to go ahead and show you that when i do connect it we'll go ahead and turn my bluetooth back on up here Okay, so now it's going to connect up, we it done, so it should automatically connect without me even having to do anything there. So it says disconnected right now. Let's see if we get connected here. Maybe I have to. Okay, nope, so now it's connected. All right, so now, just for fun, I'm going to show you. I'll try to play the song again and see if it works. So... Oh, I have it turned the volume down. So let's try that again. All right, so it is actually playing. So a lot, to, most of the time, anytime I've tried to do this in the past, it basically will not play it. Uh, now it won't go to it. Here, let's click on that. Turn the volume up. Ah, so it's actually playing. All right, so in the past, whenever I've done that, it's had issues. Um, just as a heads up. So um, right now it's working. So I'm not sure why it's working now. In the past, it wasn't working. Um, but my recommendation is anytime you're trying to listen to music without your phone, um, basically you're going out for a run, I would just go ahead and disconnect it from the phone altogether. And then the playlist should play with no problem. So anyways, just a quick look at how to get Spotify working properly on your new Samsung Galaxy Watch. Hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments section, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.